Salutations and good morning everyone and welcome back to another Grounded Update video where today I am here to help you guys answer one more of my most asked questions I get in my comments, in my discord, and on my streams and that is Sim where are all the roly polies and what's the best way to fight them in the game? And I'm here to show you, I've done a little bit of testing and I'm here to help you guys out a little bit. So let's start off with the four different locations. But before we do that, make sure you guys hit that like button. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below if you found this video helpful. And also please don't forget to subscribe, but let's talk about it. So first of all, here we are, you guys can see this is roly poly. They are very, very non-aggressive. Let me rephrase that. This is a sickly roly poly. The actual roly polies are not in the game yet. They will not be coming out to another further episode, uh, update because they will be a lot stronger than these sickly roly polies. These are considered like a weak version of the roly polies. Okay. So here is one of the cute little guys here. They are awesome. And there are four of them in the backyard. Okay. Four of them at any time. There is one in the location where I'm standing right now. There's one that likes to hang out to the, what would be, what, south of this research station right here? Right inside of this area, there is one that hangs out right here behind the uh, sandbox here next to the fence. It's kind of a tricky spot to fight them, just to let you know. This is probably the most difficult place to fight a roly-poly, uh, just because you don't really have the availability to maneuver around. And lastly, there's one that likes to hang out in this area right up here, okay? The one that likes to hang out up here is hard to find because he moves a lot. He or she moves a lot. Um, you could find him sometimes all the way over here, all the way up here, sometimes back here, but it moves a lot. It moves around away from its spawn. So this one's a little bit more tricky to find. A lot of people say that they can't find this one. It's because it moves a lot. Okay. But today we're going to focus on the one that's right down here in this corner, right by the hose. Okay. We're going to focus on this guy. All right. Roly polies have a very set number of attacks. A lot of them deal with it balling up, which makes sense. It balls up in real life. If you scare a roly poly, you try to pick it up. It balls up. Um, other things I want to cover are, this is a roly poly or a pill bug or a woodlouse, or there's multitude of names for these little guys. They are a crustacean. They are not an insect um so pretty cool but you can see it almost rolling up right there it was kind of doing a little bit of a stretch but these are the roly polies when you start attacking it okay it's gonna have a couple different moves it's gonna ball up and bounce you want to block right when it's about to hit the ground this is a move that where it rolls up and rolls at you all right this move it's doing right here is it healing itself Okay, that's another reason why they're so formidable. It also has a standard uh, frontward attack move where it like curls to the side and then tries to go at you. And then it has the standard just attack right in front of you. There you go. And there are all of the attacks of the roly poly. All right, let's track strategy. So first of all, keep moving. You don't want to be in front of a roly poly. Okay, with this bug, you want to just kind of keep moving around it no matter what. It's going to heal itself a lot. Just do your best to give it some damage while it's healing. That way it doesn't heal itself fully. But like I said, keep moving to the left or right. Never just stand right in front of the roly poly because the roly poly can do a lot of damage to you as long as you're just standing in front of it. If you keep moving around with this bug, because most of its attacks are based to be right in front of it and to bounce on the ground like that, as long as you can block it with say a shield, uh, you should be okay with fighting the roly-poly. This is that healing move I was telling you about. It gets rather annoying after a while because it makes the fight go that much longer. But as long as you can stay to one of its sides, don't tend to go behind it. I've noticed that going behind it doesn't, it doesn't bode very well for you because it tends to do that bouncing attack more when you're behind it. And also note that that bouncing attack will push you backwards even if you perfect block it. Most of the roly poly attacks will push you backwards even if you perfect block it um, because it's so big and heavy. All right, so let's talk damage types on this guy. A lot of you guys are probably wondering, well, Sim, what elemental damage is going to do the best against roly polies? And that's salty damage. Uh, the spicy damage doesn't really do a whole lot more, and fresh definitely does not do more damage to these guys. The salty damage does more to them. And also, piercing type weapons will always do you better. When, so using like a spear or the mosquito needle will do a little bit of bonus damage when taking this guy out. 
Now, you guys may be questioning, well, Sim, how did you do that? Because what you're using right now is an ant sword and it's level six and fresh. The point is, is it being level six, okay? The roly polies are very high tiered enemies in the game. They have a lot of health. They're shielded with their armor that they're wearing and they have some pretty high powered attacks. All right. And they can knock you out. So why did it look so easy for Sim to fight it? And why does it look so easy whenever I fight them in the game in my streams? It's because of the gear that I'm wearing. I'm wearing my roly poly gear as well. Okay. What this gear does is it keeps me from getting stunned. If I didn't have this gear, the roly poly would probably be stunning me all the time just because it's large grat uh, gratuitous attacks that it has. These large attacks that hit you very hard and even if you perfect block them, it still fills your stun meter. If it wasn't for the uh, roly poly armor that I was wearing, you will fall apart in this battle. So use high tiered armor. I know that doesn't sound make sense. It doesn't sound that dead good when I say use roly poly armor to fight roly polies because what if you don't have roly poly armor well if you don't have roly poly armor use one of the better sets of armor use some of the black ant gear use ladybug gear so that way you have the best defense that you possibly can and that's kind of the gear that you're going to want to go after whenever you're using these guys gas arrows I've seen they do okay against the roly poly but you're not it's kind of a waste because the roly poly can just heal itself repeatedly, especially if you're not close, it will try to heal itself and it will try to close that gap with that Sonic type move that it has. Okay. Now let's talk making roly poly gear really quick to make roly poly gear. All it takes is one roly poly per piece of gear at the moment. This is very liable to change. There's lots of different things that look, if you look at the roly poly gear that they could add, for instance, they could make it so you need to use a bee uh, fuzz in order to make the hat. They can make it so you need to use some lana, antlion parts in order to make the chest piece because that looks like it's got some antlion parts on it. And the legs will probably end up needing some sort of web fiber in order to make the those because right now that just doesn't really look like it's only roly poly parts so like i said each roly poly will give you five parts and three shells that will make it so you can make one of each of the armor pieces so you will have to kill at least three roly polies in order to get a full set of gear what's the full set of gear do for you what's the armor perk well the armor perk when you get the full set of gear is invincible shielding what this perk does is it has a small chance every time you block to repair your shield making it so if you use a shield with this armor set you become one hell of a blocker because you can actually sit there and take damage repeatedly with your shield and it will just keep repairing your shield for you and if you use something like a, I don't know a black ant shield like I do where it's going to block even more damage than say your standard weevil shield because it has plus to defense then it's an even better shield for you to use with this armor but like I said high tier weapons high High tier armor block 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 it's super important if I could give you guys one more little tip here it would be to go out and get the parry master uh, perk because the parry master perk is really gonna help you guys out in these fights and once again to answer that final question for you guys the pill bug locations are right here right here right here and in this area right here so hope this video was helpful for you guys if it was please hit that like button to let me know you guys want to see more videos like this for me to be able to help you guys out with some of the new bugs that are in the game also if you guys could leave me a comment down below and subscribe today and as always i'll see all of you guys in the next one